This is Fox 5 News at 10, local Las Vegas. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 5 News at 10. You are taking a live look over the valley tonight. We hope you're having a Merry Christmas and a very happy holiday. More than 5,000 pairs of brand new shoes are now on the feet of students from lower income schools. It's all thanks to a generous donation from a Henderson couple. Fox 5's Renee Amara spoke to the family who has been giving gifts just like this for more than a decade. Well, it's been 13 years now that Bob Ellis and his wife Sandy have taken the Christmas holiday to give back to underprivileged schools. Today, Bob reflected on this year's gift and his hopes for years to come. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Ellis, thank you very, very much. Bob Ellis spent Christmas morning reading letters of gratitude. It's just hard to believe how kind and generous that you have been to all of us. These letters, cards, and handmade gifts come from students across the state who've been touched by a generous donation from the Ellis household. We look forward to this every year to see the smiling faces on these kids. They're excited. Uh, this gives them uh, the feeling that they're wanted, that somebody out there is looking over them. Ellis picked about 20 underprivileged schools and bought brand new shoes and socks for all of the kids along with a toy. But the gifts don't stop with the students. The other stuff we do, we give each school um, up to $3,000 to buy things for the school and, and the students and whatever they need. And that saved the teachers a lot of money, too. And to top it all off, they even do Christmas parties with some of the schools, inviting out Santa and Mrs. Claus. You always hear when you're growing up, man, if I had any extra money, I'd like to help people. So me and Sandy were fortunate enough to sell our business, and uh, we decided to start giving back to the community. But he says with over 330 schools in Clark County alone, he hopes next year others will step forward to make the season of giving even bigger for students locally because he says kids are the future and we have to protect that future. In the Content Center, Shrena Amara, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Nearly 1,000 people in the Valley were treated to a holiday meal today thanks to Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada. More than 100 volunteers served free meals to those in need. This is the 52nd consecutive year Catholic Charities has given back like this during the holidays thanks to help from community donations and volunteers. I think it's important to give back, you know, and I try to teach my daughter who's here with me today the same thing. My husband, this is what we do before we open presents every year. Today is a way for Catholic Charities in a small way to spread peace and love, and maybe that's what will change the world. If everybody can give peace and love in their hearts to those that are vulnerable and then to each other, we're going to make the world a little better place going into the new year. Catholic Charities doesn't just provide a free meal during the holidays. The organization gives meals to those in need every day of the year and relies on donations and volunteers in the Valley. If you would like to get involved or donate, you can head to our website at fox5vegas.com for more information. Valley first responders are bringing extra cheer to assisted living patients by bringing them home for the holidays. Teams from American Medical Response and Medic West Ambulance provided free rides home to people in assisted living facilities who cannot physically get home on their own. The paramedics will coordinate with their family members to make sure their loved ones get to spend the holidays with them. For us to be able to bring someone home for the holidays and make their Christmas uh, that much sweeter, you know, for them, it, it helps us a lot. You know, it helps us as paramedics out here. Um, it makes us feel good. You know, um, we do serve the community, and doing stuff like this is kind of the icing on the cake for what we do. Depending on the family's plan today, patients were able to spend up to seven hours with their loved ones. Take Five to Care is sponsored by NV Energy, Subaru of Las Vegas, and Henderson Hospital. This season, Fox 5 is asking you to take five to care. Our holiday food drive is in full swing. For the month of December, you can donate canned and dry packaged food at your local Albertsons and Vons. You can also donate money at the register. All proceeds will go to benefit Three Square. You can ring in the holiday season at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. More than three million LED lights are burning at the glittering lights display. You can take a drive through the largest holiday light show now through January 7th. 
Christmas may be winding down, but Las Vegas is not done celebrating the holidays. The countdown to America's party is officially underway. Fremont Street Experience will ring in the new year in style. There will be nonstop live entertainment from 12 bands on four stages. There will also be an eight-minute fireworks show that will span the strip corridor. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority expects about 330,000 people to visit Las Vegas for the New Year holiday. And AAA wants everyone to stay safe this holiday season. They're offering their tipsy toe service for anyone who plans to be out late. Tipsy toe will be offered on New Year's Eve. If you're out celebrating and cannot drive, call 1-800-AAA-HELP. The number is right there on your screen. You can call between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. on December 31st. Say you need a tipsy toe, they will take you and a car home up to 10 miles for free. You do not have to be a AAA member to use the service. RTC will also offer free rides on all of its 39 routes for New Year's Eve, including express service between park and ride facilities in downtown Las Vegas. This will happen between 6 p.m. on New Year's Eve to 9 a.m. on New Year's Day. Feel free to board any route without having to buy a ticket. UNLV wants to remind everyone not to throw away their Christmas trees just yet because they can be recycled for a good cause. UNLV and community partners are asking people to recycle their trees again this holiday season. There will be more than 30 drop-off locations across the valley. The program runs from tomorrow through January 15th. The trees will be recycled into mulch to help beautify local parks. For a complete list of drop-off locations, visit our website at fox5vegas.com. A family of 11 loses their home right before Christmas, but they got a holiday miracle they didn't expect. A white couple's generosity went behind what they had planned coming up. With so many families in Puerto Rico trying to recover from Hurricane Maria, one man hopes to bring them some holiday cheer. How his personal loss turned into inspiration to help others. And it's hard to believe that Christmas is already almost over, but this great weather is not. I'll tell you how long it's going to stick around in just a few minutes. You're watching Fox 5 News at 10, local Las Vegas. The massive Thomas fire in California is now the largest ever in state history and is almost completely contained. Thousands of firefighters have been battling the fire since it began nearly a month ago. It is at least 86% contained and has already burned more than 281,000 acres. Nearly 1,600 structures have been destroyed. More than 1,000 are damaged. Officials expect the fire to be extinguished by early January. A special gift arrived for a family in San Antonio, Texas, just in time for Christmas. Just one week after a family of 11 lost their home to a fire, a couple stepped in to help. Two months ago, Mauricio Sanchez and his girlfriend, Emily Fraga, started a toy drive. After the toy drive, the couple had a few gifts left over. Then last week, the Moran family lost their home to a fire, which left them homeless. That's when Mauricio and Emily decided to help out. This is our first year actually doing this toy drive, and then to be able to connect with, uh, with you know, Veronica Moran and her family, it was, it was just good. It was a nice and warm, warm experience for Christmas. It's, it's crazy. Like, you never expect someone, like, you don't know to come and actually bring us stuff. But, yeah, it's, it's nice. That family is now living with a relative. And take a look at this video. This is a true white Christmas from Erie, Pennsylvania. It's almost completely covered in snow. You can barely see what's on the screen. That's how heavy the snow has come down. According to the National Weather Service, it's a record 21 inches of snow. Now, Fox 5 weather 24-7.
Merry Christmas. I'm Kathleen Jacob filling in for Ted tonight. We had a beautiful Christmas day right now. A little cooler out 49 degrees wind southwest at three miles per hour. Humidity getting up there at 29% but all day it was just gorgeous. We hit 61 degrees today which is higher than normal but not quite a record. Our warmest was 69 uh, set in 1964. Our coldest was set in 1948 at 17 degrees and our wettest was set in 1994. Now we came no Nowhere near a white Christmas, um, but in the past few years we had. So on in 2015 we had a little dusting, and we also saw snow in 1941, 1988, and 2008. But we can't complain. We had a beautiful day in the 60s, lots of sunshine, a beautiful sunset tonight, and sunny skies are going to stick with us throughout the week. And we'll also have some warm temperatures in the mid to high 60s all week, which is well above our average for this time of year. Right now in the valley, though, Henderson 45 degrees, Prim 46, 52 down in Laughlin, North Las Vegas 47, 37, very cold in Mount Charleston. But those clouds that we saw earlier today have moved off of us and are going to stay away from us all day tomorrow and in through the week. So Lake Mead is going to be beautiful tomorrow, 63 degrees, lots of sunshine, some light winds, but it'll be a great day to get outside. And if you want to head all the way up to Mount Charleston, their high is 52 degrees with lots of sunshine and light winds tomorrow. Now we're looking at the same story for the rest of the week. We'll have sunny skies tomorrow or high 63. By Wednesday, we're going up to 65. Thursday. Thursday, uh, Friday, both 68 degrees, Saturday, 69. So very warm. Now, like I said earlier, we are uh, used our average high for this time of year is in the high 50s. Um, so we're about 10 degrees higher than average that we're looking at this next week. But lots of sunshine. We're going to have just a beautiful week ahead. Cannot complain at all. It's was a beautiful Christmas. Yeah. And got a lot more to look forward to. A great time to get outside and enjoy this unseasonably warm exactly. weather we're having. Yes. All right. Thank you, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. Pope Francis is praying for peace while Queen Elizabeth pays tribute to those affected by terror attacks this year. These are just two of the ways Christmas is being celebrated around the world. Kitty Logan has more. Months after Hurricane Maria destroyed Puerto Rico, people there are still suffering from the aftermath. Those affected by the destruction include children living on the island who need a visit from Santa more than ever this season. Manny Riviera's home was damaged by the hurricane, but he didn't let that stop him from continuing his tradition of dressing up as Santa and passing out gifts. A kid yesterday asked me to bring back his house the way it was before Maria. I'm going on, on, on my sleigh, my personal sleigh, and uh, even though Maria banged it up a bit. This is the fifth year Riviera has given back to the children of his community in Puerto Rico. While this may not solve all the problems the kids are facing, it serves as a moment to enjoy life. Even penguins are getting into the Christmas spirit. These penguins are at the Harbin Polar Land in northeast China. How cute are they? The penguins were seen over the weekend wearing festive red and white Santa costumes. The penguin family waddled around while they greeted visitors in Mini Snowtown, a newly built area of the theme park. This year, we saw the opioid epidemic rise in the U.S., while new technology provided some incredible medical breakthroughs. After the break, a look at how 2017 shaped the health industry and what it means going forward. You wouldn't think a porta potty would bring Christmas cheer, but after the break, how one couple turned a foul situation into a way to give back to others. Be sure to check out our Fox 5 mobile app for all of your up-to-date news and weather. New technology has led to medical breakthroughs this year. Manny Alvarez shows us the most significant health-related stories of 2017. A porta potty has become a magical holiday sensation in one Missouri town. 
The magic began when the porta potty was left behind at a highway construction site next to Cindy and Troy Jackson's house. Instead of getting mad, the couple wrapped Christmas lights around the porta potty and named it the magic toilet. It led to cars stopping by to take nightly pictures. The Jacksons soon decided to turn the potty into a donation center. They hadn't been used in a while and got frustrated and said uh, it'd be easier just for me to decorate the porta potty. I thought, man, we could maybe do something cool with this. And so I brought home a, a barrel from work and put a sign on the bin, and all of a sudden it started filling up. I think this is just a really unique way to do it, and it's been really hilarious. The Jacksons say they've averaged a barrel a day worth of donations. The potty owners came to pick it up a few days ago, but when they saw what the family was doing, they agreed to pick it up after Christmas. While the real Santa Claus is busy in the skies, other Santas are on the ground helping out communities they live in. Coming up, how one man is surprising his neighbors with some welcome cheer. Many of the products that are in the grocery store and convenience stores today will begin to disappear. Several western states are beginning to phase out lighter beer. Coming up, how new legislation could change what you see in the store next year. And before we go, here's a look at the Empire State Building. Helping to ring in the holiday, it was lit up in red and green and topped with a candy cane shaped antenna. Access travels the globe to cover the biggest news and entertainment. And help the people with the left and right of them. Vegas strong. I love it. But our hearts will always be in Las Vegas. That's the trade of Vegas that I know and love. It makes us, you know, feel at home. It's my hometown and I love it. Bring some light to the city. And that's Vegas. More access weeknights at 6.30 on Fox 5. This is Fox 5 News at 10. Local. Las Vegas. We renew the bonds of love and goodwill between our citizens. And most importantly, we celebrate the miracle of Christmas. President Trump is wishing all Americans a very Merry Christmas. The President and First Lady celebrated the holiday by attending Bethesda by the Sea, an Episcopal church where they were married 12 years ago. Once the holiday vacation ends, the President and other Republican leaders will have to deal with unfinished legislation addressing infrastructure, health care, and more. We have uh, the immigration issues that need to be dealt with now, and I think the manner in which that is handled can set the stage for Congress, Democrats and Republicans working together, or if they can't, if, if the president won't work with us on that, it's going to be a tough year. The president will also have to deal with the ongoing special counsel investigation into whether there was collusion with the Russian government in the 2016 campaign. Donald Trump has been touting what he calls the defeat of ISIS, but while the group has lost territory, experts say they are still a threat. No, ISIS is not, is not totally defeated in Syria. The U.S. envoy to the anti-crisis coalition says the president's push for more airstrikes did slow down ISIS in the Middle East, and the group has now lost 98 percent of its overall territory. The U.S. military still has plenty of work left in Iraq and Syria. ISIS itself, the ideology as the, <clears throat> the people are realizing this is not the Islamic State that they were waiting for. With ISIS in retreat, Russia has called for the U.S. to pull out of Syria. But Defense Secretary Mattis says U.S. troops will stay to make sure ISIS is defeated. The United States is cutting its yearly donation to the United Nations by almost $300 million. David Lee Miller explains why the U.S. is spending less. El Chapo, the Mexican drug kingpin, is trying to delay his trial. Lawyers for Joaquin Guzman are requesting a federal judge push the trial back to September from the original April court date. Guzman's lawyers say they cannot prepare his defense by April. He's known for breaking out of jail twice before his final arrest had him extradited to the U.S. El Chapo is facing a 17-count indictment in New York, which could carry a maximum sentence of life in prison. It's a somber Christmas for California Highway Patrol after one of their own is dead after a crash. 
33-year-old Andrew Camilleri was killed after a suspected drunk driver smashed into his patrol car. Camilleri was in his car on the side of the road when a speeding Cadillac hit him. The driver is 22 years old and suspected of smoking pot and drinking alcohol before the crash. First of all, this is not the way we wanted to celebrate Christmas Day. Uh, it's definitely not the way we wanted the community to think of the 2017 Christmas Day holiday, but today's not a holiday for the Highway Patrol. Today is the tragic loss of one of our own. The suspect was reportedly coming home from a party. He is in serious condition and is expected to be charged with a felony. The officer leaves behind a wife and three children. In one week, recreational marijuana will be legalized in California, but as Will Carr shows us, not everyone is ready for the Golden State to go green. Lighter beers may be harder to find in some western states. Oklahoma, Colorado, and Kansas are ending the sale of 3-2 beer in their states. And major breweries are putting Utah on notice. Since those other states are changing their policy, Utah will end up the nation's largest consumer of 3-2 beer. The legislature is considering moving higher-end beers out of state-run liquor stores into grocery and convenience stores. I think it's a boon to the craft beer industry in Utah to fill that void, and they can do it very well. But that's entirely up to the legislature as to whether or not they want to give more leeway for a heavy beer to be sold in grocery stores and convenience stores. I just don't know what they're going to do. The head of the Beer Wholesalers Association says even in a state that doesn't have many drinkers, their local breweries can't handle the large volume of beer sold. Lawmakers now have to make a decision on whether to push the heavier beers. United Airlines is giving an apology and $500 voucher to a passenger who accused the company of giving away her first class seat to U.S. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. An airport spokesperson says the system shows Jean Marie Simon canceled her December 18th flight after a weather delay. But Simon says she did not cancel it and was given a seat in Economy Plus. Later, she saw Jackson Lee seated in her original first class seat. United Airlines says the U.S. rep was upgraded automatically. The congresswoman said she did not ask for anything out of the ordinary. A group of Denver volunteers proved Christmas is not, about, is, is not about what's under the tree, but what's in your heart. More than 500 volunteers were on hand this morning at a local park to help thousands in need, handing out things like blankets, socks, and toiletries. It's part of an idea that started a decade ago when eight people got together with a basic plan. Our goal is very simple. We're not here to convert anybody. Our goal is to just put more love in the world and remind them that, you know, Christmas is a day of a, a lot of light and a lot of love. Volunteers came from all walks of life, including churches, synagogues, community groups, and just individual people wanting to help out. One Long Island man is spreading Christmas cheer and making sure those in need have a happy holiday. Jody Goldberg has more on this local Santa Claus. The Houston Texans couldn't get a Christmas win, but one of their players made a Christmas miracle of a catch. After the break, why his play is being called the best of the year. And from shocking celebrity deaths to career-ending scandals, we break down an unforgettable year in entertainment. 2017 brought the first season of the Vegas Golden Knights to the Valley and recreational marijuana sales. And no Grinches tonight. We're spreading some holiday cheer coming up in tonight's rant. Watch our next Surprise Squad live what? with the Fox 5 News app. I'm in shock. Free download today. Some Christmas football tonight. The Philadelphia Eagles clinched the top seed in the NFC after beating the Raiders 19 to 13. This means they get home field advantage throughout the playoffs. The Eagles continue to march on despite losing star quarterback Carson Wentz to a season ending injury weeks ago. Here's Hilton blitzing off the slot again. Passer Hopkins. Oh my goodness. Did he catch that? Did he catch that? That's the touchdown catch of the year if that's good. 
An incredible play by Texans wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins catching a touchdown pass after bobbling it with one hand and hauling it in with the other. Even more amazing, Hopkins managed to get both feet in bounds and maintain control all the way through. Unfortunately for Houston, it was the only highlight of the day. This game was all Pittsburgh. The Steelers went on to win 34-6. The Vegas Golden Knights are riding a four-game winning streak. They are looking for five in a row this Wednesday when they go on the road to Anaheim to play the Ducks. The Knights remain on the road until New Year's Eve when they host the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wednesday's game is at 7 p.m. We have all the highlights on Fox 5 at 10 and 11. Meanwhile, the Run and Rebels get to enjoy a nice break while on a five-game win streak. Their next game, however, is a big one. They host the 10-2 Boise State Broncos this Saturday. It will be the first Mountain West Conference matchup for UNLV this season. Saturday's game will be at 8 p.m. at the Thomas & Mac. Star Wars legend Carrie Fisher had more of an impact on the newest film, The Last Jedi, than many might think. The late actress not only acted in the latest movie, but also came up with some of her funniest lines. Director Ryan Johnson said it was her creative influence that helped shape the scenes she was in. Fisher died last December at age 60. And speaking of Star Wars, the crew of the International Space Station got a very special screening of the new blockbuster. One astronaut tweeted a picture of the crew enjoying movie night. Although he did not say which movie they were watching, you can make out actor Oscar Isaac's Star Wars character on screen. NASA also confirmed earlier this month the crew would be able to see the latest Star Wars movie while in orbit. Star Wars The Last Jedi took in an estimated $32 million today and has made nearly $400 million in the U.S. alone. Blunders at the Oscars, several shocking celebrity deaths, and a wave of scandals marked this year in entertainment. David Daniel has more on what 2017 left us. Now, Fox 5 weather 24 7. Good evening, I'm Kathleen Jacob, filling in for Ted Pretty on this beautiful Christmas night right now, 49 degrees. We've got a little bit of cloud coverage, but that's all going to move out pretty soon. Our winds are calm southwest at just three miles per hour and humidity at 29%. Now, um, we hit 61 degrees today, which is warm for this time of year, but not quite our high that we've hit in the past. Our highest high, 69, hit in 1964, and not nearly as cold as the 17 degrees that we hit in 1948. We were nowhere near a white Christmas, but we did see some snow in 2015 and 2008, 1988, and 1941. But those are just a couple Christmas facts for this beautiful day, and we're going to keep this great weather throughout the week. We're going to see a lot of sunshine. Those clouds that we saw today are going to move out as we get into the week, and we are just going to keep climbing in the temperatures. We're going to get to the high 60s, which is much higher for this time of year than we're used to. But around the valley right now, 45 degrees in Henderson. 44 in Prim, 50 down in Laughlin, 30 up, 38 up at Mount Charleston. So um, cool out there right now, but still pretty beautiful. And tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day as well. 63 degrees in, in Lake Mead, lots of sunshine, light winds. It's going to be a great day to get outside. And all the way up at Mount Charleston, we've got also light winds, a lot of sunny skies, 52 degrees. So if you want to get out, tomorrow is the day to do it. And the rest of the week is looking good as well. So tomorrow's high in the valley, 63 degrees, lots of sunshine. By Wednesday, 65, our low, 42 degrees. By Thursday, up at 68, Friday, 68, Saturday, 69. And our average high for this time of year is in the high 50s. So we're about 10 degrees high higher than that average that we're expecting this week and lots and lots of sunshine. We really don't have anything to complain about. It's going to be a beautiful week ahead and we don't really see any changes in the near future. So nothing to complain about, but people are sounding off on the rant, even though it's Christmas. Here's Faith. The Rant with John Huck, sponsored by the Casablanca Resort Golf and Spa. Welcome to this Christmas edition of The Rant. While we field several angry phone calls every day, we also get some positive ones filled with gratitude. So in the spirit of Christmas, here are some of those, starting with a shout out to our thrilling NHL team, the Vegas Golden Knights.
I just wanted to uh, let everybody know in the Valley how proud of the Las Vegas Golden Knights we should be. Those guys have been a total class act getting out and into the community, and we should honor them. And Bill Foley, the owner, thank you for bringing such a class act to this town. Las Vegas is in need of that. After one October, you guys rock. Not only was it a big year for professional sports here in Las Vegas, but the first recreational marijuana sales were also a hit. One caller is celebrating a green Christmas this year. The dispensaries and Christmas. All I want for Christmas is to buy some pot, buy some pot, buy some pot. All I want for Christmas is to buy some pot. Merry Christmas. And tis the season for giving, we received this email from Santino thanking some generous diners. He says we were having dinner at Denny's on Fort Apache and Tropicana on Christmas Eve. A great family bought everyone's meal in the Denny's and included the tip. Thank you to the great family and wow, what a wonderful gift. Merry Christmas to them and everyone else. We still have awesome and great people in the world that give to others for the holiday. And finally tonight, we have another thank you and a Christmas shout out. I like to thank the angels and angels that paid for my groceries at the 99 cent store on March and Sunset. They were such a blessing and it was such a relief after my hard year this year after the loss of my husband for 50 years and, they, and everything else that has went on this past year. I just like to say, God bless you. I just want to say to the people and the folks, Merry Holidays. Send us your rants to the rant at fox5vegas.com or call at 702-436-8285. Two thousand seventeen was one of the most memorable years when it comes to viral moments. Jeremy Roth reminds us what we spent the most time talking about this year. A ten year old boy decides to break out in song in a crowded store to get people's attention. After the break, why he made a scene and how it could change his life. You're watching Fox 5 News at 10, local Las Vegas. Boy has golden lungs. Callum Courtney broke out in song. This was in the middle of a crowded store singing for charity. His mom says he has a mild form of autism that makes social situations difficult, but it also helps him have no fear when it comes to getting up and singing in the public. It actually got the attention of a record producer who wants to make a single with him in 2018 for charity. What a wow. voice. Incredible. Yeah, and for such a young age, too. I know. I bet those other shoppers were just stopped in their tracks. Yeah. Wow. He is just phenomenal, and we'll let you hear a little more of him. Have a very Merry Christmas. We'll see you back here tomorrow.